Hi, I'm Terry Clark and I'm the Communication Coordinator at the Vancouver Park Board. I've been in this job for 33 years and in that time I've met some wonderful people who have told me some pretty amazing stories. In this series about the Park Board, I'm going to share some of those stories with you. A lot of people um, ask us about the Stanley Park Seawall because it's such a popular recreational facility in Vancouver. We have 8 million visitors to Stanley Park. We think in excess of 3 to 4 million use the seawall. Lots of folks say, hey, you know, where's the plan for Stanley Park? You know, who, who came up with the plan? And of course, I have to say that there was never a plan for Stanley Park, uh, but rather, it was an evolutionary process, which is it's really a, a wonderful way of expressing it because it was the hopes and dreams of a new city. A superintendent, uh, uh, Rawlings, who served from 1913 to 1935, he had the vision of this beautiful seawall um, originally to basically stave off erosion, but then he thought, wow, what a wonderful marine walkway this would be. Rawlings had the vision, and of course then he needed a captain, somebody who would, at the workforce level, be enthusiastic, keep the ball rolling, and that was James Cunningham. His greatest passion was the seawall. Jimmy, he was retired by then, but come down in the middle of the night with his raincoat over his pajamas and just supervised the crew. James Cunningham died in 1963, in October of 1963, right as they were going around Siwash Rock Bend. You know, not many people know that. Not only did they put a plaque up to Jimmy at this crucial spot, but they left facade stones out on the outside of the wall, and that's where Jimmy's ashes were put. late 1980s, early 1990s, Park Board staff were asked to reassess all the trails and roads in Stanley Park to make sure everything was defined on the map. We discovered that the longest trail was an unnamed trail. And so we thought, you know, Rawlings did such a great job. And he was the longest serving superintendent, longest in the whole history of the Park Board. So let's name it Rawlings Trail. And so we did. So the next time you walk on the Stanley Park seawall, think about those who have walked before you. More specifically, think about the wonderful people with the amazing vision who built this seawall.